Hey, one Jay Staples, Sober Caddy, Sober Caddy Chronicles. Uh, you know what? I was always thought I'd do a real quick video and uh, just what's on my mind. I've been doing them every day this past week, and it's really helped me a lot. So thank you so much for your comments and the emails and all that, and with all the questions, uh, keep them coming. Um, but this is, uh, I'm probably getting more out of it than, than you guys are, quite frankly, so I'm a little selfish, but uh, I was watching a movie last night with some friends, and, you know, we were walking out of the, the movie theater, and, and you know, someone mentioned that they really couldn't, they couldn't get connected with the main character or whatever it was, and they didn't see, they didn't understand, and uh, they couldn't get a feel for him. I can't remember the exact, but the ultimate saying was, you know, they never connected with the main character, which threw, threw out the whole movie for him. And I laughed and I said, you know, uh, to myself, you know, how often were we not, was I not connected with the main character, me, in my life? And, you know, I talked a lot about rewriting your story and uh, looking, you know, taking the positives and, you know, mustard seed to willingness and authenticity, connection, vulnerability. Um, you know, and in reality, I think that all started when I got finally connected to the main character of my story. And, I, you know, you know, we would do, I would do life story uh, in treatment. We had to write down a bunch of pages about your whole life story. And for the most part, I just lied. I mean, I knew I was going to go in front of the group and I wanted to impress people. And so I, I exaggerated and, and uh, probably even stole some stories that I've heard throughout the, the years. Uh, so I never was connected and, you know, uh, so if if the real Jay would have walked into a, a place and they said, you know, who's this? You know, introduce your buddy, and it was me. Like I would have no clue how to introduce the real me. I was never connected. I didn't know really what what I was passionate about, what got me excited. I didn't know about my fears. I didn't know about everything. You know, long term recovery has given that. And so, you know, working with people, it's, you know, the very first step is, you know, finding out what they're true passionate about, what their assets about, you know, what their assets and get them excited. And if we use that, uh, you know, tailor it to long term recovery and, you know, there's, I tell everyone, you get into long-term recovery, every door in the world gets opened up to you. There's there's no stopping you. The world is at your fingertips if you get into long-term recovery because you know life takes on new color, it takes on new meaning and so forth like that. So, but the most important thing that I see a lot of times uh, is the lack of connection with who they are. And you know, they wanna play all these characters and they wanna be something and you know, whether it's, you know, doing step work or whatever it is, you've got to find a way to find, get connected to, to you. you know, unpack, rewrite, but yes, become authentic. And let's work on becoming authentic and getting to know the real you so other people can relate to you and learn more. Silver Caddy Chronicles.